Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios in a third-tier city of the Northern Territory Alliance, at Third High School, the banner for the oath-taking ceremony of the awakening ritual unfolded slowly on the field. Thousands of students stood on the field, waiting for the Beast Tamer awakening ceremony to begin, we're about to awaken our contracted beasts soon. I'm so excited just thinking about it. Yeah, if I can awaken a dragon-type beast tamer, I won't have to worry for the rest of my life. You must be kidding. That's one of the three strongest beast-taming types. Besides those powerful families with inherited bloodlines, it's harder to awaken than to reach the sky. It would be earth-shattering news if one person in hundreds of millions could awaken. Sigh. That's true. We can't count on becoming a dragon-type beast tamer, but at least it will be good to awaken as a behemoth-type beast tamer. Those are towering creatures dozens of meters tall, and a single step can make the earth shake. Just thinking about it is thrilling. Your standard is as ridiculous as it can be. I don't have that many thoughts. As long as it's a combat-type beast tamer, that's fine. Many students gathered on the field, and for a moment, there was a commotion, almost everyone's face was full of excitement as they discussed excitedly with those around them, the teacher standing at the side didn't pay any attention to them, it was understandable, today was the last and most important event for these students before graduation, the Beast, Tamer Awakening Ceremony. The future of all the students would undergo earth-shattering changes after this ceremony, whether they would rise to. Prominence or become fallen phoenixes would be revealed today, almost no one could calm their excited hearts, except for Joey Joe, who was standing at the end of the field because he was a transmigrator, and in this world, his name was Catalan Bell, about three years ago, he came to this world, and everything from the culture to the world structure was no different from his previous life, however, there was only one difference. This was a game-like world where beast tamers coexisted with powerful beasts that it was a world full of mystical realms, where strange beasts roamed, and where wonders and dangers intertwined that I in this world, everyone can awaken as a beast-taming master through a specific ritual at the age of 18. However, due to differences in each person's beast-taming talent, it was divided into seven levels from low to high. F, E, D, C, B, a, and S. Those with high beast. Taming talent, whether in their own attribute bonuses or beast. Taming skills, were far superior to lower. Level beast. Tamers. Even their exclusive beast. Taming experience gains were much higher than others. Similarly, all kinds of beast tamers are divided into eight levels based on the strength of their bloodline bronze, silver, gold, platinum, emerald, diamond, immortal and legendary, the higher the level, the higher the upper limit of the tamer's strength and the higher the innate skills possessed, take one of the three mythical beasts, the dragon-type beast, for example. Its extremely powerful bloodline skill was enough to instantly kill a group of low-level beasts, making it the ceiling of beast tamers, the upper limit of a tamer's strength was determined from birth, moreover, the higher the bloodline level of a beast, the lower the probability of awakening, for example. Mythical dot level beasts could only be used as exclusive beasts by relying on the bloodline genes inherited from aristocratic families, furthermore, depending on the type of beast a person awakened. There were also very different professions they could pursue in this world, which were roughly divided into three categories. The first category was the most common and diverse, consisting of beast tamers who were related to human life. Such professional beast tamers were closely related to human life. For example, if one's own beast was a rock ores dot type beast, they might be able to work as a blacksmith who could forge powerful equipment and because mineral rock beasts had a natural sensitivity to various ores, they could greatly assist the tamer in creating equipment with powerful attributes, there were also perception dot type beasts that could draw maps of secret realms without having to enter them personally, although these awakeners generally did not have combat abilities, they were an important part of daily life. The second category was the relatively rare support dot type beasts, with a very low probability of awakening. If these beasts could awaken even a slightly better innate skill, they would be fought over by major beast organizations, this was just like an online raiding game. 
No matter how the game version was updated, healers would always be an indispensable part of the team, finally, there was the third category of combat. Type Beast Tamers, these beasts generally had strong combat abilities and were also the most numerous type, making up the main core of the three awakening professions that IT wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the other two types of Beast Tamers existed to serve combat. Type Beast Tamers, combat. Type professions were the heroes of the Beast War. They were not only respected by thousands of people but also the primary targets of many governments' recruitment and training efforts. Of course, these three categories couldn't cover all kinds of beasts, there were also some very obscure beasts, and extremely powerful exotic beasts could emerge from them, however, in general, the vast majority of these beasts were worthless. The gap between the upper and lower limits of their professional skills was too great, and no one could guarantee how much value they would be able to bring in the future until these awakeners were fully grown, this was like opening a blind box. Before opening it, this blind box might be worth a fortune, but once the mystery was revealed, it might become worthless, as time ticked away, the awakening ceremony was ready to begin, the students from third high school came to the awakening platform and stood in line according to their student ID numbers. Their expressions were all nervous and uneasy, suddenly, a strong wind picked up, then, a shadow that blotted out the sky appeared in the clouds, when everyone could see its full appearance, they all exclaimed in surprise that IT was a red dot crowned crane with snow dot white feathers all over its body, and there were occasionally dazzling electric arcs jumping in its broad wings, then, a black dot robed, ethereal dot looking old man suddenly descended from the sky and landed steadily on the transformation. Platform, the old man stood with his hands behind his back, this is. Holy sh asterisk t. This is the top dot grade spirit beast, the fleeting eight winds crane. Oh, my god. This is a bloodline talent that starts with diamond level as a beast tamer. The exclamations from the audience below were heard one after another. Someone recognized the identity of the old man and shouted loudly, this crane is the spirit beast of the strongest beast tamer in the north, Baron Golan. He was the only level point 60 combat dot type beast tamer in the third dot tier city and in the entire Northern Territory Alliance. The level of a beast tamer was determined by the level of their exclusive spirit beast, which meant that the crane circling in the sky was at least a level point 60 spirit beast or higher, without a doubt. This old man was the most powerful person in the Northern Territory. He was the absolute guardian of the entire Northern Territory, students. The Beast Tamer Awakening Ceremony has officially begun. Students who have been called up, please come up to the stage to awaken your profession in an orderly manner. The white dot haired old man's voice clearly reached the ears of every student below the stage. If you find any errors, broken links, non dot standard content, etc., please let us know or tag admin in comments so we can fix it as soon as possible. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info. Direct link in the description.